In this video, I'm going to show you a mental subtraction technique called compensating, or as I like to call it, the only kidding approach. The reason why I call it only kidding is because if you're going to draw out um, arrows on a number line of the, of the subtractions that you were doing, you would probably take away a bit too much the first time and then give a bit back. Or you might give away or take away not quite enough and then have to take away a little bit more. So there's, there's kind of two ways to look at this only kidding approach. Let's have a look at both of them now. 56, take away 29. So I've got my favorite horizontal and vertical number lines. I've got the 100 grid ready to help me with my mental techniques. 56, take away 29. Right, let me write 56 on the number line first of all. That's the starting number. Now 29, okay, so I'm going to take away a number that's quite close to 29. I'm going to take away a, a friendlier number than 29, like 30. That's easier to do in my head than taking away 29. So if I take away, 29, uh, take away 30 from 56, I would get to 26. But actually, I'm only kidding. I'm not meant to be taking away 30. I'm only meant to be taking away 29. So I'm going to have to add 1 back on. So 27 is my final answer. So that, the reason why I call it only kidding is because I, I'm fooling myself into thinking that I'm taking away 30 to start with. But I'm only kidding. I've got to add one to make sure that I'm only taking away 29. What does that look like over here on a vertical number line? 56. Okay, take away a friendly number like 30. Whoa, but taking away 30 is too much. I'm only supposed to take away 29. So it means I'm going to have to add one back on. I was only kidding when I said I was going to take away 30. Right, 56, take away 30 is 26. Add one back on, 27. And on the 100 square, 56 is here. Take away 30, right, take away 10, take away 20, take away 30 is there, but that's too much. I'm only kidding. I've got to add one back on. So that's there. 27 is the answer. Okay, another example of how to use the only kidding approach. 79, take away 21. Here's 79 on the number line. Take away 20. Oh, but that's not enough. I'm only kidding when I say I'm taking away 20. I'm actually going to then have to take away another 1. So 79 take away 20, take away 1. All right, that's going to be 59 there. 79 take away 20 is 59. Take away an extra 1, 58. So this technique works particularly well when the numbers that you're taking away are close to a multiple of 10. So for example, it works really well with well, 21, it would work well with 31 because that's close to 30, it would work well with 41 because that's close to 40, it would work well with say 52 because that's quite close to 50. It also works with numbers that are just below multiples of 10, like 79, that's just below 80, or 68, that's just below 70, or 18, that's just below 20, or many, many different examples. Um, it works particularly well when it's quite close to a multiple of 10. Okay, going back to the vertical number line for a moment. Here's 79, that's my starting number. Take away 20. Of course, I'm only kidding. What I need to do then is take away another 1. So 79, take away 20. 59, take away an extra 1. 58. And on the 100 square, 79. Take away 20, take away 10, take away 20, that's there. Only kidding, I'm meant to be taking away 21, so I'm going to have to take away an extra 1, uh, and that's 58. So the answer is 58. Uh, 79 take away 21 is 58. Right, I'll leave you with having a look at this. How would you use compensating to solve these problems? Or would you use compensating to solve all these problems? I don't know. Have a look. If you want to pause the video, I'll be giving you my suggestions in about five seconds. Okay, let's have a look. 44, take away 19. Yeah, I would use compensating for this. I would take away 20 first of all, and then add one back on. So I would take away 20, but then add one. For this one, I would take away 30, 
and then add one back on. So yeah, I would use compensating for that. For this one, yes, it's close to a multiple of 10, it's close to 30. So I would take away 30, but that would have been too much to take away. I was only kidding when I said I was going to take away 30. So I'd have to add two back on. Okay, this is uh, also close to a multiple of 10. It's close to 40. So I would probably take away 40 first of all, and then take away one. And that way I would have taken away 41 in total. With this one here, yeah, I would almost certainly use compensating for this. I would do 93, take away 30 first of all, and then take away one. With this one, it's not really that close to a multiple of 10, and neither is this one. So with both of these, I would probably choose a different mental subtraction technique, like partitioning or counting back. Have a look at the other two videos for how to, how to use partitioning or counting back. Okay, that's the end of this video.